Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, then good to see you again, my friend. Today I am here with a collab makeup look, and I'm doing this with my two dear friends here on YouTube. First one is Carrie with Sassy Soapbox Beauty. She is just so amazing. Her videos are so funny, informative, and she comes up with some really great makeup looks. So if you haven't checked out her channel, please do so is you're missing out if you haven't done that yet. And the second dear friend here on YouTube is my friend Taylor with Cosmetical Universe. She is just the cutest little thing. She is so sweet and she's very talented. To me her specialty is outfit of the day and she has just the best fashion sense I have ever seen in the entire world. And she comes up with some really great makeup looks as well. So for the makeup look that I have on today, I use the BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette. I basically use most of the greens in here. Basically this whole entire section of greens I used in this makeup look. And I incorporated a lot of different uh, colors into this look. I have sea green, dark green, I have some turquoise in here, I have gold. So if you want to see how to get this look, Please keep on watching. Okay, we're going to start off priming our eyes. I'll be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Take it under the eyes as well. Next, I'll be taking a clean wedge sponge and Makeup Forever's HD powder. And I'm going to be applying a little bit of this to the outer V of my eye just to give me a guide for my shadow. Next I'll be taking the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Edgy Emerald. Just apply that to your lids. Don't take it too far into the inner corner because we're going to use another color there later. You can taper it off into the crease. Here's what Edgy Emerald looks like in case you're curious. I'm also going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. I'm just going to be applying this underneath my brow because I really want my highlighter to pop. Taking my BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette, I'll be starting out with this shade right here. It's on the last row. And it's the fourth one in. It's like a shimmery sea green. I'm taking my clean edge of the Sephora smudge brush. I'm going to be patting this just on my lids. Make sure you tap off the excess because this shadow can be messy. Next I'll be taking a crease brush. This is the MAC 222. And I'll be going into this third color right here. Which is also a sea green. A little bit more turquoise and it's matte with a small amount like that and tapping off your brush. Okay, next I'll be going in with this shade right here. It's the fourth one from the end on the last row. It's a deeper green and the same crease brush. Wipe off your crease brush just a little bit just to get off the other color. Okay, now take this shade right here, the third one on the last row, and run that along your lower lash line. I'll be doing that with a MAC pencil brush, MAC 210. Okay, 
I'm going in with a Make a Geek round crease brush. And I'll be taking this shade right here. It's like a dark green. It's on the last row of the Party Girl palette. I'm just going to deepen my outer V with that. Wipe off your MAC 222 so we can use this to blend that. And using that same crease brush, go ahead and run this color along your lower outer lash line. I'm taking a Sephora Professional Dome Shadow Brush to blend that out. Next I'll be taking the Sonia Kashuk. I think it's a, a dome brush. There's no name on here. And I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. Third shade on the right hand side on the top row of the Party Girl palette. And I'm going to use this color to blend out the top. Okay, taking this shade right here on on the second row, the first color, I'm just going to apply that to the highest part below my brow. Okay, next I'm going to be taking this Jordana Easy Liner in the shade Sea Green. And I'm just going to apply this to my water lines. Okay, next I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Bold Gold. I'm using an e.l.f. contour brush. I'm going to go in and apply some of this to my inner corners of my eyes. Okay, I'm going back into my BH Party Girl palette and the first shade on the left top row, it's like a kind of a gold color. I'm just going to go over that bold gold with a little bit of that just to set it. Next I'm going to be using liquid eyeliner to line my upper lash line. I'll be using MARC Get In The Line in the shade Painted Black and this is an Avon brand. Okay next I'm going to be applying some Sally Girl Gold Glitter over that bold gold and I'm using the e.l.f. contour brush and I'm just gonna spritz it with a little bit of Max Fix Plus. Also I'm gonna be taking Max Reflex Turquatic Glitter and I'm just gonna apply that to the center of my lid just to kinda give the eye a little bit of dimension. I'll be using a Mac 213 and I'm gonna go ahead and Put some Fix Plus on that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a baby wipe and just clean up all of the fallout. I'm using Max Pincho Peach on my cheeks. On my lips, I have Revlon Crystal Cut Coral. Mix with MAC Cream de Nude and for gloss is Revlon Color Stay Lip Gloss in Bellini. Okay, so here's your final look. And I have a hair tutorial for this look as well, so go ahead and please check that out. And also, please check out Carrie and Taylor's videos for their collab St. Patty looks as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace.